The end goal is to undo racism. Get everything where everybody can seem safe wherever they go and not have to deal with racism. Thanks for joining us again on QAC TV. We have a very special program for you today. We invite some of the greatest young minds I could find into the studio so we could talk about a program that they started themselves. So we have Riley, we have Gene, and we also have Cyrus who's going to join us in a little bit. But Riley, fill the people in. What is your program? Mm, STAR is students talking about race. It was formed October 2017 by eight eighth graders. There was an incident in, our, in Kent County Middle School that disturbed learning, and as eighth graders, we thought we needed a safe space to talk about it. So that's how far STAR was formed. So you're from Kent County? Yes, I'm from yes. Kent County. And Gene, you're actually from Queens County, right? Yes. So how did you get involved with the program? Um, I got involved because uh, me and Cyrus are very close, and his family thought that we should start doing it in QA more often because of everything that happens in QA, they think that we need to start expanding over here. STAR's vision mission statement is to inspire open dialogue and self-reflection around racism in our school and community by encouraging uncomfortable conversations, forming partnerships, and engaging in activism to promote equity. I got involved with STAR because my dad is also one of the founders of STAR, so they had a training and uh, he told me he think it'd be good if I should come. They was at Washington College and uh, I, I joined there. So that's got to be great as a dad. You, you, you get them involved and then you see how much they really enjoy it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, that's the selfish part of it, seeing my <laughs> kid get to, get to partake in it and, um, and flourish in it. And, you know, I spoke to you earlier, trying to get him to be more outspoken around stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, he's known as an athlete, so, and that's great. We want him, me and his mom want him to be known well-rounded, so to speak. We're trying to make a well-rounded young man. Right. How do you feel like this program has affected you, or at least your vision of the community since you've joined the program? Well, uh, in Queen Anne's, I haven't really seen any change yet because we have not like networked with Queen Anne's kids as much. So the goal is hopefully to get more Queen Anne, get more sure schools involved. So once that happens, I feel like we'll get we'll get a much uh, bigger change than what we got right now. So. Great. So how do we get more kids involved? The next step, especially with my kid being over here, is to bring it to QA. Right. And so um, that's what we've been trying to do. Um, I think at the college last year, Washington College last year, we had maybe 15 kids from QA in there. And that's big. Mm -hmm. At the uh, training, it just happened. We purposely had that in Queen Anne's County. And we had more Queen Anne's kids come. And that was at the Canard Building over President's Day weekend. I told you it was pretty huge. We had 27 kids give up uh, their Sunday from like 9 to 4.30 and then came back President's Day and went from 9 to 4.30 again. And you're talking uh, middle school, late middle school, and, and high school, all ages. It's impossible to get kids to give them a holiday, a three-day weekend to come do anti-racism work. So that just, that makes me, that lets me know that we're doing it and we're going in the right way of doing it. And um, Queen Anne's County is just next. And these kids get along. Yeah. As you can tell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're right. having a good time. <laughs> right, right. So is that kind of what happens when they always get together? Um, yeah, that, that whole, that border war, like you figure, uh, we've, we've had uh, Trey Wright, running back, defensive back for uh, Kent County High School football. Mm -hmm. He participated in both trainings. He comes to the meetings and stuff. He goes to war with this guy, you right. know what I'm saying, on the football field, right? right? And that's the hated Kent County Trojan versus the hated Queen Anne's County line. But when they get together, that stuff is like, you know, it's, it's not in the forefront. They're actually trying to do the work. Like, and they, you know, we're trying to, they're leaders. And what me and Barbie, we constantly uh, preach to them is, you guys now have the label of young activists. Mm -hmm. And that's not something to be taken lightly. My, my thing is, I'm not gonna say who's gonna change it, but I'm just trying to put these guys and young ladies in a place where they can actually change it. That's right. You up to the challenge? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> People say we're the net, we're like, we're, we're changing it. Now, you were one of the founding members. Yes. And you actually have done so much. I heard you had a speech at a rally. What, yeah. what happened? How, mm -hmm. So tell me about that. At the March for Our Lives, I spoke out on gun violence. And after, um, I had a few com phone calls with like the kids from Florida and heard about the gun violence and issues down there. So people are even reaching out to you from everywhere. Yeah. That's really neat. If you want us in your county, uh, if, if you want to hear more about the program, 
You can reach us on the Instagram, you can reach us on the, the Gmail, or you can grab up Cyrus, Gene, Anthony, uh, Xavier Jones at the high school. You can go to the middle school and grab up Nassim Hawkins um, or Mayor Coles. Uh, you can, in Kent Island, you can grab up uh, the We The People young ladies. They know about the program. So you can get a hold of us if you want to get a hold of us, for sure. So they're in the area, and there's students talking about race, but that doesn't mean you can't also talk about race or get other people involved. So if there's any children you want to know that you want to get them involved in the program, point them in the right direction, show them this video. These are great kids. I've had a chance to hang out with them for an hour. They're amazing. I've had a great time. Get involved in your community. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.